Join us as we learn about the incredible journey of the Russian River Salmon. The Russian River watershed includes the Russian River and all the creeks and streams flowing into it. Rainwater that falls in the watershed collects from surrounding land before most flows into the Pacific Ocean. Did you know? The Russian River watershed is home to three species in the salmon family. Chinook salmon, also known as king salmon because of their large size, coho salmon, and steelhead trout. All three species are threatened or endangered in the Russian River. An endangered or threatened species is protected by law. Sonoma water scientists monitor Russian River salmon to learn how to best protect them. Salmon are anadromous fish. Anadromous fish are born in fresh water, migrate to salty waters of the ocean, and then return to fresh water to spawn. Salmon go through a life cycle, just like humans. Humans start as babies, become toddlers, then children, teenagers, and finally adults. Salmon start their lives as eggs, emerge as alevin, then fry, par, smolt, adult, and finally spawning salmon. This completes the salmon life cycle. Look, there's a salmon nest in the gravel. We call this nest red. Adult salmon swim many miles upstream against the current to return to their home stream. The female uses her tail to dig an indent in the gravel. She then lays between 2,000 to 5,000 eggs. Males fertilize the eggs so they will grow. Eggs need clean, cool water with lots of oxygen. In three to six weeks, the eggs hatch and become alevin. Alevin have their egg sacs attached which provides food while they hide under the gravel from predators. Over the next six to 12 weeks, alevin absorb their egg sacs and emerge from the gravel as fry. Fry have to search for food. They eat aquatic macroinvertebrates like these. These aquatic macroinvertebrates are an important food source for young salmon. Fry develop par marks on their sides to help them camouflage and avoid predators such as larger fish, mergansers, great blue heron, and even raccoons. As salmon grow into par, they will venture into deeper areas in the river. Eventually, par will migrate downstream towards the estuary. The estuary is a special place where the river flows into the ocean. Fresh water from the river mixes with salt water from the ocean. Par becomes smolts. Smolts turn silvery in color, which prepares them to camouflage in a new habitat, the ocean. Spending time in the estuary allows salmon to adjust to salt water before swimming to the ocean. After spending time in the ocean, salmon finally become adults. Adult salmon hope to avoid large predators like seals, sharks, and fishermen. After two to three years, salmon migrate from the ocean back to their home stream to spawn. Some adult salmon are no longer adapted to live in fresh water, and white fungus patches form on their skin. Their bodies undergo a number of changes to get ready to spawn. Some species will turn red. Some male salmon develop hooked jaws and sharp teeth used to fight with other males. Adult salmon are large for meeting fish, shrimp, and other ocean animals. Predators, like osprey and otters, eat salmon, enjoying nutrients the salmon ate in the ocean. And these ocean nutrients are then distributed throughout the forest, helping trees and plants to grow big and strong. On their journey upstream, salmon have to get around dams and other obstacles in the river. Fish ladders are sometimes built to help salmon swim past dams, like this one at Sonoma Water's Inflatable Dam. 
There's a viewing gallery where you can watch salmon swim up the fish ladder towards their home stream. Once salmon return to the creek or river where they were born, females find the best habitat to dig their red and lay their eggs. Males will follow the female and fertilize the eggs. The females cover their eggs and some will protect the red for a week or two before they die. When salmon die in the river, their bodies, full of nutrients from the ocean, are broken down by decomposers like aquatic macroinvertebrates. This makes the aquatic macroinvertebrates strong and healthy. When fry emerge from the gravel, there's plenty of food for fry to eat. This completes the salmon life cycle. Salmon are amazing animals that fascinate us with their incredible migration.